logistically speaking, there is no logic to this because I couldn't think that far, but we'll figure this out together. <laughs> Welcome back! And if you're new here, my name is Daniela and I love reading and buying books. And those things are not always mutually exclusive. So that can cause problems for me, my wallet, and just my bookshelves because I keep buying them. Um, but this is today's video. I want to count every book that I have read and that I have not read um, and just go through them and see how things are. I also have a pen and a paper because at one point I will get confused of the numbers that they are so it's just better to be safe than sorry you know. Um, so yeah let's start with the first bookshelf. If you saw how precariously my camera is sitting right now you would faint but as long as it doesn't fall we're good. So we're gonna start with this bookshelf first. I have two bookshelves. Um, but this one's easier to go through in the beginning. So here we have mostly the books that I've already read. One of the shelves is books I still have unread, but let's go through the ones I have read first. So this one is the bookshelf that is also a bit organized. So this part here, we have cookbooks. So like here, then we have hobbies and then we have languages. Then we have fully unread um, and then there are red, red and my 12 books that are wrapped, that are currently 10 because I already unwrapped two. Um, so yeah, let's go through them. Let me bring you a little bit closer. Okay, now I'm going to do this shelf like this because I can't otherwise, but um, this is the first shelf. These are all the cookbooks that I have till this one. So. There are a lot of them. I really love cooking, um, so I buy all of them. <laughs> then we have the hobbies. Uh, we have quilting, a miniature house, just about everything. And then we have the languages over there. We have Russian, Japanese, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, Russian and Japanese. So I have the most adorable miniature table. This is my hand for reference, so I feel like a giant whenever I'm close to this. But look how cute this is. I love it. I love it so much. Um, let me go through all the books, I guess. So I think I'm going to pull out every single book that I have already read from the shelf and just go in that order. But I'll, I'll edit it like super quick, super quick. First, we have the Asian literature. So we have Night Train to the Stars by Kenji Miyazawa. Then we have I Want to Die, But I Want to Eat Kiboki by Baek Sehi. Then I have the four book collection of Before the Coffee Gets Cold. And they're just like absolutely gorgeous. I love these books. I'll give my life for these books, maybe except the fourth one, but the first three. Kim Ji Young, Born 1982 by Cho Nam Ju. Sweet Bean Paste by Durian Sukigawa, Cursed Bunny by Bora Chung, and the last Asian one is Almond by uh, Wong Pyong Son. And by Asian, I mean like South Korea and Japan, because I have other Asian books. Sometimes I forget that Asia isn't just Japan and South Korea, and that's not good, but I will do better. Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus, Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McKinston, The Secret History by Donna Tartt, Why Don't Penguins Feet Freeze and 114 Other Questions, The Martian by Andy Weir, 10 Poems for Winter, Toad's Christmas Party, George Orwell 1982, My Name is Leon by Kit Duvall, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, The Executive, which is also a coloring book, Word Journal of an Innocent Soldier by John T. Bassett, a collection of erotic poems, which are mostly love poems, Dr. Wright by Janet Tronstadt, Sweet Betrayal by Lauren Wilde, The Growing Pains of Adrian Mole by Sue Townsend, then I have The Worst Witch Collection by Jill Murphy, I have, I think these are the first three books, and they're great, I love them. Jelly Berries by Hello Mund, Two Roll Dolls, these are the plays, these are the 
Witches and Fantastic Mr. Fox, the number one ladies detective agency by Alexander McCall Smith, Poems by Mihai Eminescu, The Other Side of You by Amanda Craig, The Last Orgy of the Divine Hermit by Mark Lehner, UFO in Her Eyes by Xiaolu Guo, If the Witness Lied by Carolyn B. Cooney, Are Snakes Necessary by Brian De Palma and Susan Lehman, How to Kidnap the Rich by Rahul Raina, Amnesty by Aravid Adiga, The Talented Mr. Varg by Alexander McCall Smith, How the Leopard Got His Spots by Rudyard Kipling, and and the last one from that shelf is Robotech, the source book. I thought this was like a comic when I bought it, but it is the source book, like it says. So that was on me. So those are all the books on this shelf and all of them are red. I'm like, so pleased with myself. So pleased. Um, let me count them really quick. So on these shelves, I have 44 books and all of them are red. Let's go to the next shelf. Okay, this is the next shelf. And I know the shot is a bit scary, but you'll have to bear with my face. So these are my yearly books that I wrapped up so I can unwrap one every single month. So there are still 10 in here. These will count for the unread books. Okay, let's talk about all the books that I have read from this shelf. So we have The Sacred and the Profane by Mircea Eliade. This one I read just because one of my university courses demanded me to read it and talk about it, which is why I also separated like this. But it is read, so good job me. The Unbearable Lightness of Being in Aberystwyth. Aberystwyth? Yeah, I think that's right by Malcolm Price. I actually really like this book. Then we have The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I did cry during this book. Circe by Madeline Miller as well. I got this from a charity shop in Brighton. And again, I cried at this one too. I don't know what it is about Madeline Miller, but she just loves making people miserable with her writing. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawking. Uh, she Gets the Girl by Rachel Lippincott and Alison Derrick. Five by Holly Rubenhold. This is about the victims of Jack the Ripper and their stories, which I thought was fascinating, but I did find the book a bit boring. Brief Answers to the Big Questions by Stephen Hawking. Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. I thought this book was a five-star, brilliant book. Uh, it is quite girthy, but I love history and the way he wrote it was just fantastic. I loved it so much. Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. In fact, it did not help me get a better sleep, but that's my fault. That's not on him. That's fully me. Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, When the Body Says No by Gabor Mate, The Organized Mind by Daniel Levitin, The First 20 Hours by Josh Kaufman, How to Lie with Statistics by Daryl Huff, Money by uh, Yuval Noah Harari. This is an excerpt from The Sapiens, A History of Humankind, and I didn't know that when I bought this, but this is part of that book so we have focus by daniel goldman the power of habit by charles gahig anna karenina by leo tolstoy i read this when i was in high school which is insane behavior from my part because no one forced me to do this and this is in english and english is my third language so i was just unhinged when i was in high school unhinged Mary Shelley, Frankenstein, Shakespeare on Love by George Weinberg. Then we have five Shakespeare books. We have King Lear, Anthony and Cleopatra, uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream, uh, The Winter's Tale, and As You Like It. Then there's The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald, The Best of Sherlock Holmes by Conan Arthur Doyle, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, Maurice by E.M. Foster, Dublin Poems by Hugo Hamilton, So You Want to Talk About Race by uh, Yoma Olu, Snow is Falling by Nora Roberts, Secret Santa by Robert Tate Miller and Beth Paulson, 
to this day, I will not shut up about how terrible this book was. Horrible. Absolutely awful. Bouchon Pole by Daniel Spiel. Chestnut Street by Maeve Binchy. And the last book from this shelf is The 36 Stratagems. I actually really love this. Like, short, concise, to the point. Great book. So, so far on this shelf, there are, let's see. There are 38 books on this shelf. Again, all red. So proud of myself. Behold, the last shelf of this bookshelf. These books, I'd say, are red, but there are also some unread that are just fine. I don't know how to explain this. Okay, so here I have 38 red and 8 not red. So fantastic. Really, just such a good job. Like, good job, me. Good job. So we're back again. This is the shelf with all the books I have yet to read. Uh, some of them I did start and I hope to finish by the end of this year because I started them a long time ago. Um, but let's go through them and see how many are unread on this shelf. There's Edgar Allan Poe, Tales of Mystery and Imagination. If We Were Villains by M. L. Rio. Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow by Yuval Noah Harari. Dante, The Divine Comedy. This is the English edition. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. The Last of Mohicans by uh, J. Fanny Moore Cooper. The Virgin, The Gypsy and Other Stories by D. H. Lawrence, Le Mort d'Arthur um, by Sir Thomas Mallory. I am so excited to read this book. Also, look how gorgeous this is. I don't know if you can see this, but this is golden. It's the most beautiful book that I own. I'm. I really want to read this because, like, look at this. It's gorgeous. I love this so much. I can't wait to read this. The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, by Neil Gaiman. Becoming by Michelle Obama. The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. And now onto books that I've already started but I'm yet to finish. Don Quixote by Cervantes. Melmoth the Wanderer by Charles Maturin. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. As you can see, I read very little of it and have still a long way to go. A Portrait of a Young Poet by James Joyce. David Copperfield by Charles Dickens also. Look, look how small the writing in this. And it's so goddamn boring. Um, if I don't read this this year, I will abandon this. Because this book is ridiculous. Like, it's like there's no point to it. It keeps going on and on and on. Like, Jesus Christ, just talk about something. Um, then we have La Vie en Fleur by um, Anatole France, Wintering Heights by Emily Bronte, and then we have uh, Oprochan Arendt by Hiro Arikawa. This is in French. Also, this one is in French as well. These two are in French, and I do speak French, but my French isn't that good, so I do want to challenge myself with these books and see if I manage to read them or not. But this was it. So on this shelf, I have 19 books that I have not read yet. 19. Not bad, but I know how many there still are that are not read and I am panicking slightly, but only a tiny bit, just a very tiny bit. Welcome to my second bookshelf. This is the one with the unread books, like almost everything here is unread, which is sad because it goes down. You fell, but it goes down. So let's just get through it, I guess. Um, there's so many books that I feel like I'll just tell the name of them and then that's it. Because I haven't read them yet, so it's not like I have anything to talk about. Also, two of these, let me move this here. Two of these are books. Two of these are teas that look like books. Okay, let's start with the books. First two are comics. This is Relay. No idea what it is about. It was cheap. And also most of the books on this bookshelf, almost all of them, are from a secondhand bookstore. One day, well, there were a few days when I went on a rampage and bought everything inside that was cheap. 
uh, and that looked like I loved the cover because I very much believe that marketing is a part of book selling and if the cover doesn't hit, I'm not gonna buy it. So these are bought purely because of the cover. So yeah, just so you know, they're secondhand. Uh, the next comic is Angel by, by a lot of people. It's a comic book. Just Like You by Nick Hornby. The King's Speech by Mark Logue and Peter Conradi. God, I hope I'm pronouncing these author right. Uh, Those Who Blink by William Mills. I'll take a chunk at a time and then talk about it because otherwise... Because otherwise I'm going to be here for a while. Uh, okay, Tom Brown's School Days by Thomas Hugh, Wife's Night Out by Sandy Leslie, Be the Reaper by George Basil, Everything Must Go by Keith uh, Waterhouse, Miss Lizzie by Walter Statterwaite. Also, look how pretty this book is. I thought it was so cute. I thought it was adorable and I bought it. And guess what? It's in German. And German is not one of the languages that I do speak. German. So, um, as beautiful as this book is, uh, this will go to my friend Sophie. So, Sophie, if you're watching this, this is your book, just so you know this. This is yours. Then we have uh, Silky by Leo Rosten, The Girl Who Played With Fire by Stieg Larsson, Super Freakonomics, this is by Stephen D. Levitt and Stephen J. Dubner, The Chinese Ultimatum um, by Edward McGee and Robert Moore, Daddy by Daniel Steele, no, I will not talk about the title. Um, you're not old, you're just not that young. I... Everything's okay. Uh, by Harvey Lissell. The Miriam Webster Thesaurus. Again, this will not be put on my. That book is fine. This will not be put on my uh, unread because it's a thesaurus. 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 I clearly need this book. The Curse of Singles Table by uh, Suzanne Schlossberg. Uh, a Handful of Thieves by Nina. Bowden, A Suitable Life by Michael J. Malone, Because I Love You, Elise Joyce Davinson with an introduction by Helen Steiner Rice. I never read the introductions, so that is not important. Power of Birds, it doesn't have an author, but I think this is a collection of stories, so we'll see. Also, this has a dedication for John, um, and it was his birthday in 1997. And this is why I love secondhand books because you never know what gem you'll find inside. Like, this is so nice. Heidi by Johanna Spiri, Garden of Lies by Eileen Gouge, Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson, Butter by Erin Lunge, Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert, The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, and Oscar Wilde A Selection. This was all the books from this bookshelf excluding the tea and the German book that I'll give to Sophie. So these are it. Let me count how many there are and just put them in my list. So there are 27 without the Miriam Webster thesaurus. Next is this bookshelf. Um, let me move this one here and let's count how many there are. Well, let's go through them and then count how many there are. Okay, let's go through it. Then We Came to the End by Joshua Ferris, Gorgito's Ice Ring by Elizabeth Ducey. I think this is self-published, which is pretty cool. I think it also has the, yeah, it has the author's signature, which is, which is really neat. Lorelei's Secret by Carolyn Parkhurst, Summer Days and Sea Breezes by Carol Matthews. I plan on reading this in the summer. It just feels weather appropriate. Love is in the Cards by Emma Goldrick. God's Call Girl by Carla Van Ray. Sins of the Mothers by Patricia Angadi. There Was a Time by Frank White. Can Reindeers Fly? The Science of Christmas by Roger Highfield. A Boy Called Ocean by Chris Higgins. Enigma by Robert Harris. My Favorite Wife by Tony Parsons. The Interpretation of Murder by Jed Rubenfield. Hatcher's Order of Magnitude. Also, I don't think this is a book. 
this is like how things are ordered but i do plan to read this one day from start to beginning so this is an unread book a connecticut yankee in king arthur's court by mark twain i did put like a foil over this because this is look at this book oh my god poor thing poor thing 50 shades of gray by el james the holy bible yes these do stay one next to the other on my bookshelf and i will keep it this way um i also do plan on reading the bible from start to beginning at some point like i'm not a religious person but i do want to read it just curious really fairy tale uh, of new york by miranda dickinson the winter wedding by abby clemens these two i plan on reading in december obviously so it's just more festive. These three books were gifted to me this Christmas by my friends. So thank you very much. I love you so, so much. Um, this is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Also, look how beautiful this edition is. I love this so much. Like, oh, I don't know why, but just the vintage classics in this edition are just so beautiful. Like, I'll take all of them. Also, the writing is tiny, but it isn't as tiny as in other books. So... I do plan on reading this at some point, like from start to the end. Then we have The Scum Villain's uh, Self-Saving System by Mo Xiang Tong Tzu, the first volume, and the by the same author, The Heaven's Official Blessing, again, um, the first volume. So excited to read this. Maybe this will be like a March read, like both of these and I'll do a video about them because I'm so excited to read them, like so excited. Yes, okay, so those were the books from this shelf. Uh, let me count how many there are and I'll tell you right away. There are 22 books that are unread in this shelf. <sighs> There's so many books adding up. I really, really want to read all of them. I really do, but I also want to read will buy new books and I'm just like I can't buy new books till I read at least half of them and half of these are so many it's just so many let me drink some tea just so many I don't know how I'll manage but I will I will just let's let's be delusional and go forward you know just with delusion forward Okay, so this is the third shelf. Let me move these. These are my to be read books. Oh. I will pick them up later. Later. Just not now, just later. Okay, okay. Let's just go through this. Um, these are the books that I'm trying to read in February. I don't think I'll read all of them. That's just humanly not possible for me. Um, but I will put them at the unread category because I haven't read them yet. So it's only fair. Um, so we have Eggs on My Plate by Ulu Reed Olsen. Two eggs on my plate. Yes. Uh, then uh, All Creatures Great and Small by Jane Harriet. Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Republic by Plato, Salmon Fishing in the Yemen by Paul Torday, Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman, The House on Whiffen Cove by F. Jacqueline Holquist, and The Ambassadors by Henry James. So these are the February books. Now let's go to the regular bookshelf. Nice of Rain and Stars by Maeve Binchy. Samira and Samir by Siba Shakir. Shakib? I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I am so sorry if I'm not. Um, Writing Home by Alan Bennett. Only Americans Burn in Hell by Jared Kobeck. Ugly Ways by Tina McLeroy Ansa. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Is it just me or is everything shit? by uh, Steve Lowe and Alan MacArthur. Sheer Mischief by Jill Mansell. The Penguin Book of Baby Names. This I bought because I want to start writing and this is a great way to just find character names. So 
I guess I won't put this in the unread because it's literally just names. That's all it is. Alex Ryder, uh, Snakehead by Anthony Horowitz. The Careful Use of Compliments by Alexander McCall Smith. I have quite a few books from him and I think I also read two by him and he's a great author. I genuinely like his work. Uh, I Before E Except After C by Judy Parkinson. Deep Pass by um, Bakhtang Anyan. Ananyan. Uh, it's an Armenian author. I do look forward to reading it. Savage Caress by Rochelle uh, Wayne. Dirty White Boys by Stephen Hunter. Me Before You by Jojo Myers. The Z Papers by Geoffrey Simmons. The Golden Child by George C. Chesbro. David Nichols, Starter for 10. I think I have this book as November in my wrapped books, so we'll see. And if so, I'll unhole one of them because I don't need two of the same book really. And then we have Australian short stories. It doesn't have an author because there are multiple ones in here. Now we have the shorter book. My name is Oram by W. Sarawan. Um, found one orange horse. Doesn't have an author because uh, it's a really old Soviet book. So I don't think they liked having their authors. I don't know. It just doesn't have one. Um, Man Eaters of Kuman by Jim Corbett, Les Vacances d'Alain, Anything Can Happen, Gulliver's Adventures by Jonathan Swift, Journey to Joburg by um, Beverly Naidu, The Prince of Omeya by Anthony von Eisen, Hello Fatso by multiple authors, uh, Benjamin Bunny, this is so short but I plan on reading this in Easter, again, for the mood. Uh, NYPD 2025 by Hall Stryker. Also, I'm, I'm very sure this is a pseudonym because I tried searching for the author and nothing appeared, like nothing. Just the fact that there are like 25 pseudonyms under the same person, so who knows? Um, then we have Operation Cicero by L.C. Moises. Moises. I'm so sorry. It's an Austrian author. Back of Rose by Erskine Goldwell. Shall We Tell the President by Jeffrey Archer. A Little Princess by uh, Francis H. Burnett. Butterflies and Moss. Not a book. Just talks a little bit about butterflies and moss. But I will read this in spring, I think. Nightshades by Bill Pronzini. Let's count this bookshelf. So this bookshelf has 36 books. Let me write that down before I forget. Now for the fourth bookshelf, you can see it. It's this one here. Again, none of these I have read. So let's go through them. First is the official Scrabble words. Will not count this because it's just Scrabble words. Great American Short Stories by Wallace and Mary Stegner. Edited by them. There are a lot of stories in here. The Merry Misogynist by Colin Potterill, The Time for the Traditionally Built by Alexander McCall Smith, The Long Song by Andrea Levy, I've had this book for a really long time, The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger, again for a really long time I've had this book, and Seven Days in May by Fletcher Knebel and Charles Bailey, A Few Right Thinking Men by Sulari Gentile, The Spy Who Came From the Cold by John Le Carré, Sushi for Beginnings by Marion Keyes, The Mystery Harris from the Sally Baxter Girl Reporter, it's a series, it's by Sylvia Edwards, but I think that's just a pseudonym for multiple authors because this thing has so many books and there's just not one author like credited for them. So 100% just a pseudonym for multiple authors. The Lovers of Faustina by Nina Fitzpatrick. Love and Longing in Bombay. This is by Vikram Chandra. The Trouble with Women by Jackie Fleming. Mr. Toppet by Charles Elton. L'Executeur by uh, Gerard Devier. I think this one is in French. The New York Book of Tea by Bo Nile. Deception on His Mind by Elizabeth George. Osaka, it's 
a short tourist book, no author. Um, the Fifth Horseman by Larry Collins and Dominique Lapierre. The Rocky Ridge Man by Meredith Marsh. The Midas Compulsion by Ivan Schaffer. Tolkien Co. by Rudyard Kipling. Eve, Her Story by Penelope Farmer. Murder at the Castle by M.B. Shaw. The Jealous God by John Brain. The Jungle is Neutral by F. Spencer Chapman. The Silver Locomotive Mystery by Edward Marston. And The Oracle of Stamboul by Michael David Lucas. So that was the fourth shelf. Let me count them and I'll be right back to you. Okay, there are 28 books on this shelf. The next one is the fifth bookshelf. It's, how do I do this? This one here, because that one just has albums, so they're not really books. So this is the last bookshelf. And this bookshelf does have some of my already read books because I just don't have space in the other one. So slowly as I read them, I put the books down here so it's kind of like shifting them around so there's they're separated the books that i have read and the books that i have not read i hope that makes sense it in my mind it does um i am so tired and there are so many books but just just a little more push we can do this come on we got this i'll start with these books here the big ones the big boys the big guns so let's see um this is about digital photography then we have the coolest book you will ever see in your life moby dick a pop-up book it's just i plan on reading this with the moby dick book that i already have so like once i finish my actual book i'll read this because i don't want to spoil myself even though i'm pretty sure i know what happens in the end but look at this wait are you ready how amazing is this? Look at this. Insane. Let me show you some more. Like, how insane is this? This is the best pop-up book I've ever had. And it was so cheap as well, because I got it from the secondhand bookstore, obviously. And like, look at this. So beautiful insane this is moby dick a pop-up book by i'm sure that it has someone credited by sam ita the most insane pop-up book i i have no words this is absolutely stunning i will die for this i'm never giving this away just beautiful stunning gorgeous okay but let's go to the other books i guess whoa Little Penguin by Patrick Benson. I have read this already. Night Before Christmas, I have read this. Um, Donna Kohler's 555 Country Cross Stitch Patterns. A hobby book, will not put this in the red or unread category. Um, so are the next books. This is uh, Draw. It teaches you how to draw. Uh, so is this. So is this. So is this, I really want to learn how to draw. I have opened the books, I have looked through them. I have not used them yet. So maybe sometime this year. Uh, then we have Where's Father Christmas. It's like a Where's Waldo, but Christmas edition. Uh, then we have Where's Wally um, in Hollywood. This was a gift, thank you very much. Um, I said Waldo previously, but that's because there is the English there's the American and the British version, so um, that's why I said that. But really excited to look for all these Waldos or Wallies. And then we have Robinson Crusoe um, by Daniel Defoe, and I did read this. Great book. The Dangerous Game of Falsifying History. I thought this would be so cool. The title was amazing. It's just a series of essays, and I'm like, I don't know when or if I will ever read this, but we'll see. Dear John, the John uh, McKay letters. Um, I don't know, it's just letters sent by the readers, I assume. So it's pretty interesting. Um, I will read this at one point. The Russian Museum is just a collection of um, 
paintings. So I don't think I will put this in the unread category. I don't think so. Then we have Jolly Family by M. Nosov and a very old book, very old book. Then there's this bad boy. This is Nicholas Nickelberry by uh, Dickens, I think. Um, I think is by Dickens. It says the non such Dickens. I. But look how pretty this is. And also, this book is giant, giant, insane. It was it was pretty cheap for what it was, but that's why I bought it. But we'll see if I actually read this. The Lost Properties of Love by Sophie Radcliffe. The Sacred Comb by Thomas Maloney. The Rapture by Claire McGlasson. Domina by L. S. Hilton. The Boys Club by um, Erica Katz. Poems 1953 to 1988 by Anthony Twain. Napoleon and I or Significant Miss Fanny Mitchell by Robert Shelley. Writers by Jelly Cooper. Look at this. It's insane. Just, it's like half of my face. Ridiculous. Living Dolls, The Return of Sexism by Natasha Walter. The Emperor of Ocean Park by Stephen L. Carter. And now the books that I have already read that are on that bookshelf. We have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Young Poets of Germany, different authors. Uh, the City Always Wins by Omar Robert Hamilton, username Evie, Joe Sugg, But Kids Don't Die, Francis Purcell, The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving an F by Sarah Knight, Light Years by Tamara Stain, and One Day by David Nichol. Phew! So those are all the books from the fifth and last shelf. And let me now count the unread and the red and I'll get back to you. Okay, so on that shelf there are 11 read and 16 not read books. And I'm starting to get dizzy from all the time that I have to get up and down. But let's tally all these books up because that was the last and I have all the numbers here. And let's see how many books I have read versus the unread. And just we'll see how, how everything is, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so tired right now. Okay, let me count. Okay, I'm back and things are actually so much better than I thought they were. Like, insanely much better than I thought they were. Um, I have 131 books that I have read. That is excluding all my cookbooks, my hobby books, my language books. Like, without those, I have 131 books that I have read, which is really good. And then for the unread books, I have 174. It's less than I thought. I thought I was like over 200 and I only have 174. And realistically, I do realize that 174 books is a lot and I have so much to read and buying new books is just ridiculous at the moment, which is why I have a no buy year ban on books. Um, but it's doable. I don't know. It's just, I thought it was over 200 and the fact that I'm under 200, fantastic, brilliant. Like I couldn't be happier. And I'm just like ecstatic. I don't know what other objectives are there. Cause I'm doing so good. I'm so good. Like fantastic. I don't know what to tell you. And um, yeah, so I have 131 versus 174, which is good job. Me pat pat on the back. Um, yeah, I hope this year I'll read a hundred books. Well, my goal for the year is 52. So like one for every week of the year. And that's like the big goal. But other than that, I really want to read a hundred books. But if, if I don't, that's okay. Um, so this 174 books will be reduced greatly. Also, some of them are really short books. Um, so I feel like I'll be able to go through them without much difficulty. Others are ridiculously long. I also have like Moby Dick and David Copperfield in there, which I don't know if I'll manage to read this year or not, but if I don't, that's okay. So we figured out how many books I have. Uh, maybe I'll make another video to organize my books because as you've seen, 
this bookshelf at least is a mess the other one is pretty organized because it was the first bookshelf i've had so i had time to organize it and then i bought all these books last year and if you can believe this i bought all of these books in like november and december unhinged unhinged behavior but to be fair i did get them all of them from secondhand book stores so they were cheaper and i don't know i just feel better because now all these books are with me you know safe and warm uh, but yeah these were my books this video is going to be so long and i apologize so much for that i will try my best to edit it which it will be a pain um but i really hope it will be reduced from the amount of filming that i did and yeah thank you for watching if you want me to talk about any of the books that you've seen um like before or after i don't know just tell me about it because some of them i might not read this year and if you tell me you want me to read a specific book i will just don't go war and peace on me just pick something easier you <laughs> and i will i will read it sooner but these were all my books um i will do a video about organizing them but yeah so far so good i'm really proud of myself less books than i thought i had um i'll try to read as many as i can this year so next year i can go on a huge book buying spree um yeah that's the plan so thanks for watching uh please like comment subscribe all of the good things and bye I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls